Hey everybody! I have the Mean Lord Hath Returneth, and today I'm going to showcase two different experimental decks. I haven't perfected my strategy with both either of them quite yet. There are a lot of nuances to the new cards that I haven't experienced. I'm going to be a little bit of a low rank just because I'm coming back to the game after not playing for two months. So I missed the last season entirely. <laughs> so I'm up against a Consume player. Consume, I feel, is in a better place than it used to be. They're still annoying. I really like how Scoia'tael is doing, but I think they need more bronze spell cards that are in the neutral pile. There's just not enough variety in spell-specific cards. So I think I made a mistake here by playing Yaven. Uh, because I did that, my opponent has a nice easy pass that they wouldn't have had otherwise. I'm de deciding whether or not I want to win this round or not. And I go with the I'm going to try to win this round pathway. I'm trying to milk my Dragoon as much as possible. So I'm just thinking, can I beat my opponent in one card here? Not really. Uh, now I can, but I'm not going to get any of the benefits from killing a unit if I play my uh, brand now. Because it's just not strong enough. The, the math there was just poor. And so I don't get any of the buffs on my ambush cards and my dryads. Which I need to wonder, does Morin get buffed twice if Bran gets off? I don't know. Now, you might say, why are you playing this round out? Well, I want to, uh... <sighs> that was probably a mistake. I'm not expecting to win this round. I just want to uh, slow my opponent off. And thin my deck of cards I don't want. I think... Uh, Yorveth is one of the strongest gold cards in the game. Really. Okay, I pass. My opponent's still behind me. That means I can get my card advantage back a little bit. Not all of it, but a good chunk of it. And that makes me happy. I got one extra card back for that. And I didn't want to go any deeper since I didn't get my uh, Dragoon off of my Elven Mercenary. I'm very happy to see the uh, Shrooms in my hand. I regret not picking the Quensign first in that sequence. Because I didn't really have... Um, I was just hoping that I wouldn't get that card. Now, the reason why I have Quensign is that it's easy to manipulate who is hit by that gold card that goes into the graveyard and then hits one of my units for six by just using the Quensign to block it. And I can, that's kind of why it's there. So I'm going to use my Shrooms now because I know that my opponent probably has a Necker in their hand. They're going to play that card. I'm not going to uh, hurt damage it at all. So I'm just going to play my... <sighs> I'm going to play my Ambush card. And now I have my answer to the Necker through uh, the Shrooms. And my opponent loses a really good Consume target. Their leader card comes out only for 5 strength because everything he consumes is just a one for one exchange. Now this might look like I lost, but then you have an ambush pop up and I win. The next deck I have is also hand buffing, but we also have the movement set in there. You guys who've been watching me for a while will know a lot about movement. I still feel movement is the strong, uh, really important um, mechanic to include in your Scoia'tael decks because it's so much tempo. Uh, the big changes is that I have Yorvith instead of Saskia. Yorvith is, I would consider, the best uh, gold card that Scoia'tael has. 
So now we're up against Nilfgaard. Nilfgaard has the best direct counter to uh, <laughs> Scoia'tael in the form of that one card that allows you to turn a revealed card down to one strength and steal its strength for itself. That's really annoying. So here I'm going to try to out-tempo my opponent. Um, I don't really have another way to get a Dragoon onto the board, so I'm going to avoid that. I'm kind of regretting my placement here, but because I haven't seen any Geralt Ignis, I was like, where did Geralt Igni go? Is he, has he been removed from the game? Which changes the way you do your lane placement. I'll have to be thinking about how I do uh, my Blue Mountain Commandos now that I don't see Geralt Igni anymore. Again, I have been out of the game for a while, so certain cards are just... I'm unaware of what's happened to them. So I'm going to open up with that, and it backfires on me. That was a misplay by myself. I could have just opened up with the Dragoon, and that would have been better. So here I'm going to use Yorvith. This is the reason why I went with that line of play. I wanted to buff the cards in my hand with Yorvith. Yorvith also provides a buff to all my cards, and that makes them resilient to assassins, which is really important. The Dragoons are no longer 7 strength anymore. They're 8. It's great. My opponent's doing something, and I believe it involves lacerates. And I kind of played into those lacerates with the fact that I have uh, used Shive, that, that. But now that I know he has lacerates, I can just play around that. I'm going to keep the shrooms. Why? Because I've seen all this buffing from him. So I'm going to play around the buffs. Okay, well, that's great. Gives me a good card to uh, hit with the... Ooh, interesting. Let's see if I kill off whatever he plays. Probably not. Okay. I get a pretty good King of Beggars out. Nice thing about King of Beggars is that he can't be reset. Now I win because of my shrooms. You're really good against ambassadors. And I rank up. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. No matter what you people say, I'm gonna do my thing my way. No matter what you people do, I'm gonna do my thing much better than you. No matter what you say or do, oh boy, you're out of luck. It's gonna roll right off of me like water off the back of a duck. Hey.